Hi there, I'm Regina Sellers and I'm the creator of Provo the Hand. This is the instructional video making the Regina bow. What this is, is a delightful bow using up all of your scraps of ribbon. If you're anything like me and you've been crafting for a while, you probably have just tons of spools of ribbon with just little pieces left on it. The longest piece of ribbon in this bow is just one yard. The smallest piece of ribbon in here, I believe is about 18 or 15 inches long. This is just a very delightful bow on how to use up all of your scraps of ribbon. I hope you'll enjoy it. So before we get started actually making the bow, I would like to show you the ribbon that we're going to use, how long it is, and why I chose the ribbon that I'm going to be using and the position that I'm going to put it in. The first piece of ribbon, and I'm going to put this around the center finger, and uh, by the way, we'll be working on, on the Pro Bow on row C on this particular bow. I'm going to use this ribbon just because I love it so much. <laughs> And it's just a delightful, it's just a delightful, perfect little ribbon, candy corn. And who doesn't love candy corn for Halloween? So uh, this is just a little scrap of ribbon that I had left over. And the, uh, the very first piece of little ribbon is, uh, I have it written down here, just 20, 21 inches long. And that's going to be fine to use on row C. The next piece of ribbon that I'm going to be using, and you're, as we go along and you'll see how I'm going to do this, I'm going to be using one ribbon on finger one right and a different ribbon on finger one left. This is so I can use a very tiny little pieces of ribbon. This is the ribbon that I'm going to be using on finger one right and left. And uh, let's see. This is just a very shiny little um, ribbon great little uh, colors that go with um, with Halloween. It's going to be playing perfectly off of this one. And then I'm going to use this white harlequin. White harlequin, black and white harlequin is just so the thing this year. So that's why I'm going to be using that next. I want to bring some white into the top of my bow. And uh, it's going to give, as you can see with this ribbon, there's just a lot of black in it. And so with this white, it's going to give some life to the top of the bow. So that's the re another reason why I'm using this uh, ribbon in this position. The next ribbon that I'm going to be using, and this is going to be on finger two. I'm going to use this on finger uh, two right and left. The reason why is because it's my absolute favorite Halloween ribbon. <laughs> and like I said before on the other ribbons, everything is outlined in black. That, that's a lot of darkness in a bow. Look at this fabulous green. This, this is a, to me a Halloween green and it matches everything that I've ever bought for Halloween. This is going to give light, life, and brightness. Uh, um, to the top of my bow. So that's the reason why I'm going to use it on finger two. I want this to be in the top of my bow. I'm going to use it twice. I'm going to use it on both our uh, right and left and it's going to give life, a lot of life and brightness into my bow with all of this black. So that's why that's going on finger two. The next two ribbon I'm going to be using, this is the ribbon I'm going to be using on fingers uh, three right and left. Uh, again, white background, okay? Brightness, life to the top of this bow, okay? You can see how they, they're, uh, they're different ribbon, but they're a coordinating ribbon. And I'm going to have a white background on the right, a white background on the left. This is going to help balance my bow. So this is the next ribbon. And let's see, this is for finger three, uh, these are only about 20 inches long. Look at these just little scraps. You're going to be able to use up all your scraps. The next ribbon for finger four, look at these two oranges. Here I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the uh, candy corn. Just love it. Just absolutely love it for Halloween. But these are two oranges that, again, scraps. This, this whole bow is about using your scraps. And this is finger four, and at the longest piece, that this is 21 inches. Okay? 
So there I'm going to be using the two oranges, again keeping my colors, balancing my bow on both sides. That's next. Then look at the next two. The next two are two purples. Okay, two purples. Balance your bow. Put your colors on both sides. Uh, for finger five, these two are 22 inches each. Okay, and then finger six, I'm going to give it some pizzazz. And look at this shiny ribbon. If y'all follow me at all, y'all know I love to do shiny stuff. So I'm finishing off with these, these two shiny, fabulous pieces of ribbon. And let's see, on finger six, they're going to be 23 inches long. That's all you need. So here's just a lot of scraps of my ribbon. I'm going to just use these all up, and I'm going to have a fabulous bow. So uh, let me change position. I'm going to walk around the table. We're going to be shooting from over my shoulder. I want you to have the absolute best view possible. So let me, let me move. I'll be back with you in a second. So let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do is put on our center loop. Okay, here's our little piece of ribbon, just precious little candy corn Halloween ribbon. The first thing I do is dovetail. I dovetail as I go. So let's dovetail. And we're going to use the board as our measurement. So I'm going to, here's the base finger, and I'm going to measure out to uh, row C. That's long enough for our first little tail. I'm going to pinch. I'm making a pretty little pinch. Really nice. And I'm going to use 26 gauge wire. I'm using pre-cut wire. It's 26 gauge. It's 18 inches long. I'm going to pick it up right in the middle. I'm going to come from behind. I'm going to go around one, two. That's enough. That's all that's needed. Wire up, wire down. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to set this piece of ribbon around the dowels or the fingers, the fingers of the hand. Let me zoom in. I want you to have the absolute best view possible. What we're going to do is just wire these two little pieces of ribbon together, okay? We're not attaching it to the uh, bow maker just yet. We're going to wire these two pieces together. See how I'm pinching them together? My piece of wire that's up, I'm just going to bring it around once, pull it tightly, bring it around two times, and just bring it around. That's all there is to it. This piece of wire, it's now going up. So now I'm going to attach my ribbon to the bow maker. Going up, going around the base finger. Leave a little piece. You want to be able to get that off very quickly at the end. My other piece of wire, I'm going to go around the base finger just once. I'm sorry, that's the base nail. And you're going to go around there just once. That's all that's needed. Don't have to go round and round just once. You want to be able to get that off quickly at the end. Leave yourself a little loop so that you can get that quickly. Okay, now I measured out to C this way, so now I'm going to pull this over. There's C. I'm going to dovetail, and these two little tails are now made, and I'm going to pull these up here and get them out of the way for now. The next thing I'm going to do is add my helping hand wire. We're going to be using this. Let me go out just a little, just a tad. See my little piece of helping hand wire here? Again, I'm using pre-cut 26 gauge wire. You can use the paddle wire if you like. I just particularly like this. I have it on hand and I use it. But I want you to carefully see how I'm going to put in my helping hand wire. Okay. You see this little circle, the little circle of my loop? See that there? I'm going to hold that there closely. I want you to see. You see the little circle? All I'm going to do is drop. If I can pick up my piece of wire here, I'm about to lose it. Come on, piece of wire. There, I got it. Hardest part of bow making is picking up the wire now. Okay, 
You see that loop there? I'm going to drop my piece of wire into the loop. See how it's going into the loop? And I'm coming out on the right side. My piece of wire that's holding everything to the board is on the left side, so I'm going to pull this out to the right side. And all I'm doing is pulling my two ends together. See how I'm doing that? I'm just pulling the two ends together. And look, I'm just going to pull them right around. See how I pulled just a little bit? And my, two, my wire is now right here, right in the dead center of the bottom of my bow. Because this is the absolute dead center of the bottom of the bow. I'm going to pull them up and down. I'm just going to cross them. I'm just going to cross them once tightly. And now my little helping hand wire is ready. Okay? This is how this should look at this point. So easy, guys. So incredibly easy. Now we're ready to start adding our ribbon that's going to go on the fingers through one through six. Let's start with this little piece. Look at this beautiful little piece of ribbon I have. This little scrap is the harlequin that is just so hot this year. Everybody just loves it. I have just this little bitty piece, but it's going to be just perfect. I think we're just going to make it. I'm going to pinch just a half an inch from the end. I'm going to set it right here in my helping hand wire, and I'm just going to go up and down. That's all that's necessary to hold this in place. You can go around if you would like to. Go around, just make a, um, just ring it around. Ring the wire around if, if you, if you um, feel like that makes you a little bit more comfortable to hold it. You can hold your thumb here if you would like. Now I'm going to pick this up, go over finger one right. They're coming back, coming back to my stack. There's my pinch and my twist. And I'm going to take my piece of wire up. My, my up piece of wire is going to go down. My down piece of wire is going to go up. You can ring it around if you would like to. Just whatever you're comfortable with. Y'all, that's all there is to this. We're just stacking this ribbon right on top, exactly on top where we were before. See how it looks? That is how it's supposed to look at this point. Each little piece of ribbon we're going to put on right at the same point that we did before. So that's our ribbon on finger one right. Now we're going to put a little piece of ribbon for finger one left using up all these little, look at this little piece of wonderful ribbon. I don't want to throw it away. I'm going to use it in my bow. So here's my little pinch, sitting it right in the helping hand wire, up and down. You can go around if you would like. You can if you like. I'll hold it just a little tighter. Finger one left. I'm coming back. You can kind of pinch that in, make that nice and tight and neat. There's my pinch. There's my twist. Coming back with my wire up and down with the pieces of wire. There you go. As you can see, it's holding it right in place. But you can go around just for safety's sake. You can go around if you would like. Getting this piece of uh, ribbon out of your way for now. I'm pinching and kind of pushing in and getting it all nice and neat and that's all there is to it that is all there is to that look how this looks every piece of ribbon that we're adding is right you wouldn't want to add a piece here or here you always go right back to the stack dead center of the bottom of your bow and that's all there is to this guys just that simple and look at the beautiful little pieces of ribbon that we've used up now on this piece of ribbon, I did make a bow, and I uh, I used this ribbon, and I had two, two little pieces of it. I used it up. Uh, I've used a ton of this ribbon. I had two little pieces left on two different uh, bolts of ribbon, but I do happen to have this one-yard little piece. So I'm going to use this whole piece here. It's just one, it's just, it's a little less than a yard. 
but I want this. This is my favorite. As I said before, this is my favorite Halloween ribbon. It's very bright. It's a wonderful green with all this darkness, a lot of this black. I love to use this kind of ribbon right in the top of my bow to give it brightness. So that's why I'm using this at this point. Okay? So uh, I measured it row a little past C, so I'm going to go out to D, maybe just a little more. I, I have enough here. I could trim it off a little bit. I'm going to pinch. Here I'm pinching. I'm making a nice, tight little pinch. I'm sitting this right in my helping hand wire up and down. I'm not going to ring it around this time. I'm just going to leave it like that so you can just see that that works beautifully. I'm going to get this out of my way. I'm going to hold this in place with my thumb. There I'm going finger to right. Here's my pinch and my twist. I'm not even going to use my helping hand wire at this point. I don't need to. I'm going to put my thumb there. There I'm going over finger to left. And now I'm going to come back. Now I'm going to use, there's my pinch and my twist. Now I'm going to use my helping hand wire to hold this all in place. Up and down tightly. I'm going to ring it around just once. And look at that. Perfect. I went out to D. I'm going to go out to D. I'm going to dovetail. And we're on to our next piece of ribbon. Y'all, it's just this incredibly easy. Every time, I'm going to show you just how this is supposed to look. See there? See how every, every pinch and twist is exactly on top of the one before. It's going to make it perfect. Okay, let's go on to our next piece. Again, I'm using some white. I want a lot of brightness to this bow, and I love these two whites. So I'm going to use one right and left. So let's pinch. That's my pretty little, tight little pinch. Using my helping hand wire, I'll go ahead and go around. That's finger three left. There's my pinch and my twist. I'm using my helping hand. Let me get that out the way. I'm using, come on, tighten up for me. Using my little helping hand wire. And I'm going to hold that right in place. And I'm going to ring it around just once to hold that right in place. You see? And you want to keep your stack straight. We're working right off of the base finger. Let's see. We cut it at D before. I'm going to cut it just a tad past. Every time, for every time I, I cut a tail, I cut it just a tad longer. So there we go. That's that piece of white, uh, white on finger three left. So now we're going to just do the opposite. And we're going to have a white piece going finger three right. There's my pretty little tight little pinch sitting it right right there in my uh, wire. I'll go around just for safety's sake. Going around, coming back, pinch and twist. Wire up, wire down. Y'all look how incredibly easy this is. This is just incredibly easy. That's all there is to it. And look how I'm using up all these scraps. Okay, that was out to D. I'm going to go just a little past D here. Okay. Get this out of the way for now. Let's see. See how that looks? Every twist, every pinch and twist is right on the one before it. And using the helping hand wire, up and down, one little twist, that's all it takes. Now, let's go on to the next. Y'all, that's all it is. Very repetitive. All we're doing is putting the ribbon on. Probo the hand. This is your hand. It's hauling, holding all of this ribbon for you. And that's all there is to it. So, there we go. There's... 
put that on. There's my pinch and my twist. Y'all, this is a little, this is kind of a heavy little piece of ribbon, okay? It's not burlap, but it's, it's a heavy coarse little linen. So let me show you a little trick I do, okay? It's kind of heavy, it's a little coarse. So I want a nice little pinch to this, okay? So I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna measure where my pinch is, but I'm gonna pull this over here and I'm gonna kind of work it first. I'm going to really pinch it. I'm going to put a little twist to it. I'm going to kind of work this twist in it over here. And see how that already have my pinch and twist to it. It was kind of stiff. So you can do that. You can measure where you want your pinch and a twist. But you can pull away from your board and work your piece of ribbon just like I did there. See how easy that makes that? And now it's ready to go. It's pinched really tightly. It already has the twist in it. And it's, and it's ready to go. You don't have to do all that work just right there. Okay, let's do our dovetail. Every time I'm making just a little bit longer dovetail, let's get that out of the way. Let me show you. See how it looks? That's how it should look. We're just stacking our bow. See how our stack looks? The stack is just coming straight out from the base finger. And that's all there is to this. This is how this should look at this point. It's very repetitive and you just keep just adding your little pieces of ribbon. Incredibly easy. Here we go. Let's continue. The next piece, we put a piece of orange here. I want a piece of, put another piece of orange here. I'm keeping my colors balanced uh, on my bow so that when I open it, I'll have very balanced colors to my, uh, to my bow. There's my nice little pinch sitting it right here in my helping hand wire. I'll go ahead and make a little circle. I can just do that. There's my pinch. There's my pinch. This is a this is a much uh, thinner piece of ribbon. So I'm putting it here. I can easily make my pinch and my twist here. Here's my little helping hand wire, up and down, up and down tightly. Now I can go around, all there is to it. There's my stack, that's how it should look. That's just how it's gonna look every time. That's all there is to it, guys, using up all this wonderful ribbon. Now we're gonna add some purple. I love purple. I, I think I put purple in every Halloween piece I do. Here we go. Here's my pinch, my pretty little pinch. Really tight, tight and neat. Set it right where I want to. I'm sitting this ribbon right where I want it to be. Okay, up and down, go around. Okay, go around your finger. There's your pinch. Pretty little pinch. See how tight I'm making that? Nice little pretty pinch. Your bow will just come up. The, uh, the more care that you take at this point, the, the prettier your bow, the easier your bow will open. Okay? Nice, pretty little pinch and dovetail. Get that out of the way for now. And now I'm going to have balancing my bow. Purple on this side. I'm putting purple on this side. Here's my, here's my little scrap. Here's my little scrap. Don't throw any scraps away now. So, putting it here right in place. Go once around. There's my pinch. There's my pinch. There's my twist. and dovetail. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all something and I did this on purpose. I did this on purpose because I want you to see. You see how, you see where I put this one right here? I'm just a tad off. 
You see how I'm just a tad off? This is not just a, it is not just arrow straight. You see how that is just not arrow straight? I just wanted to show y'all that if it's off about that much, that's perfectly okay. I have people who send me pictures all the time and they think their bow is ruined. They think their bow is ruined if that is just not arrow straight. I did that on purpose. Just that little bit off. It's going to be quite difficult using this many pieces of ribbon to get that absolutely arrow straight. I did that on purpose because I want you to see when this bow opens, you won't even be able to tell that. So that is that just kind of pulled off a little bit to that side and so did that one. It's not going to make any difference at all. See what I did on this one? I brought this one back. It's pretty straight. See how it's back in line? If you go over or off that just that little that much, it's not going to make any difference at all. Okay? And I and I really did do that on purpose cuz I want you to see and once the bow is open, you'll see that you will not be able to tell that at all. Okay? So, here's a pinch. We're putting on our last one now. There's our pinch. Here's our twist. Look, I've come in. I'm, I'm being very careful. I'm looking for my base finger there. There's my little twist. Go around my finger. Here's my pinch and my twist. Almost running out of wire here, but I'm going to make it. I've made so many of these little bows now. I know that I'm... I know from experience that I make it with one with an 18 inch piece of wire. I just make it so it's going to be just fine. And now I'm going to dovetail. I'm going to go all the way out to F. I can trim that off if I like at the end. And now let's get the other little piece of ribbon on. Look at this beautiful little piece. I'm putting two shiny pieces on at the bottom. If y'all follow me, y'all know that I just love a little shine. Love a little shine and a little glitter. Let's put this here. Pinch. We're going to twist. Y'all, look how little piece of wire I have left, but it's going to be enough. Coming back. There's my pinch and my twist. And putting this in here and wiring that off. Okay? And I'm going to dovetail it off to this side. Now, See how all of this is kind of just hanging out here in space? But it's perfectly fine. That is just how that looks. There's the stack of my bow. Here you can see that I've put, that I've kept all of these, all of my twists. I kind of I jagged over a little bit to that way. I probably did one just a little bit more this way. I wanted y'all to see that because it's not going to make any difference at all to the bow. Once we open it, you're, you're going to be able to see that makes no difference. I didn't go over more than about an eighth of an inch or, or maybe a fourth of an inch even, but it's still going to just be make a perfect bow. I wanted y'all to see that, okay? That is how it's supposed to look at this point, okay? Okay, and then this is how the stack looks. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of push this in because I'm going to start trying to tighten this bow up a bit. See how I'm just pushing this in? But I'm, I, but I'm still keeping everything stacked on top of itself. I'm just kind of pushing in. Okay, because I'm trying to tighten this up a bit. Okay, now I'm going to put my finger here because I always take my wire off of the top first. Give it a little jiggle. Just a little jiggle. I'm putting it down into the, I'm holding it from the top. Now, you see how I can see my little piece, my little circle? That's why I just do it just once. I'm going to move my finger coming around from the back, and I'm pulling up and down, and I'm going to continue to tighten the bow and just ring it around. And just bring it around and that's it and those other two little pieces of wire are right here and you can kind of catch them together okay you can take one piece kind of tighten that up if you would like and that's all there is to it and this bow is made 
with all these different pieces of ribbon, all these little scraps that you'll never have to throw away again. We're going to pull the base dowel out and it's just going to slide right off. How's that? How is that? Isn't that a thing of beauty? <laughs> this is how this bow should look at this point, okay? And if y'all follow me, y'all all know what comes next, the fluff box. And we're gonna fluff this out and we're just gonna have a fabulous bow. But that's how you make it. That's how you use up all the, your wonderful little scraps. Now let's fluff our bow. Let's get our bow onto our fluff box. Oh, look at that. I ran out. I don't have quite enough wire to get around to my nail. Oh, no problem. All I have to do is take another piece of wire. So here's just another piece of wire. And all I'm going to do is just wire this together. Just going to give myself a little extension. Not a problem happens all the time. I've given myself a little extension and now I can pull all the way, I can pull tightly all the way out to my nail. Go around just once, you can go twice, but no more than that, you just don't need to. See how perfectly your bow is sitting up? I always start from the bottom. So, and if you've seen these before, if you've seen me fluff a terry bow, this is, this is just, a, this is a terry bow with just, th but it just has this many pieces of ribbon in it. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to do a loop, starting from the bottom, I'm going to do a loop. I'm going to leave the tail here. Now what I want is the loop, the corresponding loop, to go on this side. So now I'm just going to hold this in place and pull my loop this way. Now, with fluffing a terry bow, what you want to do, and you're going to see, I'm, I'm going to fluff this slowly because I want you to see how you do, how you, to fluff a terry bow. You don't pull your ribbon straight out. What you want to do is you want your terry bow to end up kind of like a fountain. You want it to just come up and then just go over. And you're going to see me, see how I'm pushing, I'm pushing my hands all the way into the center. You see how I'm making my, I'm, I'm circling my loops. See how, I'm, see how that loop is circled and this loop is circled? Because I want dimension. There's dimension to a terry bow. That was, that's what makes it so pretty. And, I, and I, so you can see I have not just pulled my ribbon straight out. Now I, this tail is going to go here and then this tail is going to go across. So it's a loop and a loop and a tail and a tail. Okay? So now I'm going to my next level which this was finger five. And look, you see what I can do? I can pull my, I can put my hand down on the ribbon here. I'm holding my bow in place. So now I can use both hands and I'm gonna pull this over to here and I'm gonna open this pretty all the way to the base of the bow. And you see how I'm making a pretty loop? That's what make, that's what's gonna make a pretty terry bow. That's how you fluff a terry bow you open those loops all the way to the dead center, okay? So I'm going to have a loop, and now I'm going to come across, and this is another reason why I like to use a fluff box, because I can spin my bow around. I don't have to be leaning across it, okay? I don't like to do it that way. I like to just swing my bow around. Okay, so here's my other purple. See what I'm doing? I'm, I'm, I'm able to use both hands. I'm holding this in place. And I'm pulling. See how I can pull? I can easily pull. And now here's this loop. And see how I'm opening all the way to the dead center of the bow. So now I have a loop and a loop. And I have a tail and a tail. So there's a tail. Where's the other tail? Right here. See how I'm going to put this tail across? I'm going to put the tail. See how I can pull it? I can pull on this because it's on my fluff box. And what I want to do too is I want to kind of go in here and start kind of pulling my tails up. Everything about a terry bow is everything to come up. See how I'm going to start working this up and I'm going to put a little fancy little loop 
I'm going to put a little fanciness there to that. Let's go back. Let's do it with this one. My ribbon, I'm, I'm making my ribbon come up. And now I'm going to put a fancy little, let's fancy this up a little bit as we go. I want that going up. See how I'm working my ribbon up, and then I'm just going to put a little fanciness there to the end of it. Okay, so let's swing this around. So, see I have a purple and a purple, loop loop, purple and a purple, tail tail. If you'll open your terry bows in X's like that, whenever you get done, all of your, uh, the colors that you want, they'll be in place. You won't have to just foo-foo a whole, whole lot with it at the end, okay? Okay, so the next, so I have two tails here, so I want to make sure that I put a I want a loop here. I'm going to make sure that I have this loop, and you see what I'm doing? I'm opening this all the way to the center, and I'm going to pull this orange way over here, because I don't want them next to each other, so there's an orange. There's an orange loop, there's an orange tail, so I'm going to spin it around, so there's an orange. I'm going to make sure that this orange comes here, and then you see how I can grab it. I can work with two hands, that's why, the, that's why fluff box is so wonderful. There's a tail, and here's a tail, and see how I can pull them? I'm pulling them. I'm shaping and fluffing my bow all at once. And you see how I'm opening all the way to the center? That's what you want to do with the terry bow. You want dimension, again, up. See how I'm going to work this? I'm going to work this up. See how I'm pulling it up? And I'm going to put a little fanciness right there on the end. On the end. Okay? And y'all, I'm the world's worst. World's worst with foo fooing. Foo, -foo I never know when to stop. And I'll play and play, but I think y'all can see this easily coming together. Okay. Now, what's our next row? Let's see. I think our next is the white. Okay, where do I want? Let's see. Here's two loops. So I'm going to put a tail here and put a loop over here. See how you can just kind of decide. You just want to make sure you don't want all your loops sitting on top of each other. You want to make sure that you spread out your, um, there's a loop and a loop and a tail. So I'm going to put another loop there. Here's two loops here. So I'll put the tail here. You just make sure that you just spread everything out. Loops and tails. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I want that to come over here. Did you see how I can pull this around? See how I can work this up? See how I can pull it around? And because I'm swinging, now I can swing this around. There's, here's my white. So I'm going to make sure that I pull this white right across from it. I can do that because I can use both hands because I'm using my fluff box. See how I'm opening my terry bow all the way to the center, opening those loops. Let's see, there's the tail, so I want this tail to come over here. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do our green. Let's see, there's a tail. Here's a loop. I think I want to pull this over here because here's two loops, so I want a tail. I'm going to make my tail go there. Here's a tail, so I want a loop on top of it. See how I'm just stacking my bow? Now I'm going almost just up. And there's my green. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to swing this around. I put my green there. I put that there so I can move this. See how I can keep track? I, I can just totally keep track of what I'm doing because I can so easily just swing this around. Fluff box makes it incredibly easy to fluff your bow out. It takes as much um, tender loving care to fluff out your bow, get all of your ribbons set right where you want them as it does making your bow. Okay? See, I'm coming up with this. I want dimension to this bow. So I'm pulling that up. 
See? See, I'm not pulling straight out. I'm going up. I'm going up to fluff the bow. And let's see. I think that this, well, let's see. I might wait just a second. I think I'm going to trim a couple of my tails. I think I just might. I think I will. I think I'm going to do it right now. I'm just going to trim up. These are just a little, just a little long. Okay, I'm going to trim this one up just a tad. Let me do this now. This one is long. You see, that's why I said you can, you can always, whenever you're making your, your bow, just give yourself just a little extra so you can trim at the end. And you can make your bow look like you want it to whenever you're fluffing. Sometimes I leave them kind of long. Sometimes I leave them a little short. Just depends on kind of how I want my bow to look and the ribbon I'm using. Okay, this green is a little long here, but that's what you want to do. Leave yourself. I'm not cutting it off any more than maybe a half an inch at the absolute most. Okay. All right. Okay, I think I like that a little better. I think I want to trim this one just a tad, just a tad. See how you can play with it? You can swing it around and adjust and make your adjustments as you go. So there you go. These are going up. You want whenever you hold your bow up, you want want to be able to see all the colors that are beneath it. Okay, here we are to the center. Here's. This was one. This was on finger um, one, and let's see. This was on finger one. Let's let's cross them over from each other. See how I can pull around because this is anchored down. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a tail coming out here. See how I'm pulling up. I want these coming up. I know I just keep saying that, but I just want this to come up. It's. That's how a terry bow. That's how you're going to get your dimension and your shape to your terry bow. Let's trim this down a little bit. And then here's our center loops. Let's just trim those just a bit. See how I'm trimming and shaping as I go? Because I'm turning, I'm spinning my bow, I'm deciding how I want it to look as I go. And y'all, that is it. And that's all there is to it. And I am happy with this. There's my little pieces. So let me hold it up. And there you go. How fantastic is that? So there you go. That is how you make a Regina bow. And y'all, please excuse my gravelly voice. I'm even worse than ever. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm catching a little bit of a cold. But isn't that fantastic? Look at all those ends that I've used. I, I have pieces of ribbon in here as short. I think this is about 15 inches. And I think my longest piece... Well, the green was longer because I, I decided to use two pieces of it, but I don't think there's anything any anything in here longer than about 23 inches. So get out all of your spools that have just little bits of ribbon left on them and make a Regina bow, and it will be fantastic. I hope you all have enjoyed this, and I hope to see lots of Regina bows around. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. Bye-bye for now.